Welcome back, my computer dinners. <clears throat> Tired as shit. I don't want to do this. Oh. Man, if I told my eight-year-old self that I would be able to play video games for a living, although I really don't make that much off of these on YouTube, but I monetize them elsewhere. For, first, he'd be super, like, stoked. Maybe he wouldn't believe me. I don't know. You're full of shit, old man. I'm sitting down for this one. Fuck you. But then I would tell him that playing video games for a living makes you hate video games. And then, for sure, he would call bullshit. Be like, that's impossible. You ever imagine yourself um, describing what the future is like, as in the, the like your present, to somebody from like the the 80s, or even further back, like the 1850s or something, and having to like manage their disappointment? Like, no, it, it's it's cool. It's re really cool. We don't have any base on the moon or Mars, but. We have microwave craft macaroni and cheese. You stick it in a box, you push a button, and you got something pretty closely resembling macaroni and cheese in like 30 seconds. Are you not impressed? And it's Benjamin Franklin, and he's just like slowly shaking his head with his face in his hands. Face in hands and shaking head. Maximum disrespect. Haven't I been down this way? This would be a cozy place to live for like six months. I think I would have had my fill of it by that time. Of the town at least. I could spend years exploring the woods. That's what you moved to a town like this for. Hang on. The other thing is, um, I mean, call me stupid. <laughs> you know, call me lazy. Call me greedy. You'll be right about at least one of those at any given time. But I have wanted at, at times to go and live in Whittier, Alaska. Step through too many portals been present in too many worlds simultaneously bits and pieces of me stay on the other side waiting whenever i return i bring parts of those worlds back do you know what ghosts are they're sad evicted things memories without homes anyway yeah whittier alaska that town in alaska where like 90 percent of the population not 90, but close. Lives in one giant condo. Just because it was built as housing for military families, I think. And then their, the military men would go and work at the nearby Buckner building, which was their base. And at the time, the Buckner building was the largest single indoor structure, single contiguous indoor structure in, in the United States and, con and continued to be until the Pentagon was built. I missed something over here, didn't I? I solved that ghost mystery. But yeah. It would be fun. I mean, you'd, be, you'd go a little stir-crazy, but that's the fun of it. It's being cozy and, and being inside of a relatively, you know, nice, warm, dry environment when the outside is... is trying to kill you because Alaska's weather does not fuck around that would be fun for like a month for like one month if it was in the winter if it was a, 
like during the they don't really have much in the way of summer though they have like a, a week or so where there's not there's no snow anywhere and there's sunshine The problem with moving someplace like that full time is that everybody, all the women are already married. So there, there's no prospect for any kind of hanky panky, probably. And I guess it depends on how happy they are in their marriages, but unless there's like one hot single girl that, that is completely unspoken for, you're just out of luck. You're out of luck. Unless you like seals or something. And I don't mean Navy seals. And that is such like a, a middle school fantasy pipe dream. Uh, a remote, isolated Alaskan town with just scores of potties that, that have never seen a man within who isn't like over 70 or something that's a good joke everybody there is going to have mutated into a walrus human hybrid in order to deal with the cold and also because they drink a lot which adds body fat again to deal with the cold if you're into that still don't go there because there's not going to be anybody for you. But yeah, for the month or so that I would spend there, I, I feel like it would be really interesting. Like, having that tightly knit community that I've intruded into. And everybody shares the same communal spaces. Everybody uses the same hallway as an elevator. They even have an underground tunnel that goes to the school, and the school has an indoor playground. Because, again, for much of the year, you can't survive outside for any length of time. It, it gives you a glimpse of how miserable life is going to be in Mars colonies, but also gives me hope. Because it shows that Mars colonies are feasible from a social dynamics standpoint, and that people will, will be able to live there and have something resembling a meaningful life without wanting to kill themselves or one another. Too frequently. This, you know what this feels like? A Skyrim. a better looking Skyrim. And I have no weapons, so it's better looking pacifist Skyrim. Where we solve our problems with words. And use our indoor voices. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm sorry. I'm just going to waste everybody's time here. How's that grab you? How's that for an episode? It's like those episodes of Minecraft where I did fuck all for 30 minutes, but run around and talk about shit that has nothing to do with the game. I feel like it was down in the caves, but I just came from there and I don't remember finding anything. You know, as impressed as I constantly am by how good VR is, every minute I'm in it, I just want better VR. And I, I'm worried that I'm going to drop a bunch of money on another brand new headset with whatever improvements come in Generation 2. And I'm going to put it on my head and be amazed for like 10 minutes and then be like, it could still be better. It could still be better. Maybe up here. I remember there being a ghost mystery up here that I never solved. Just 
So I was looking at getting a 3DS, a new new 3DS XL. How many fucking revisions of that thing did they make? Anyways, I wanted it for the, the Zelda game that's on it, and for the Metroid 2 remake. And not a lot else. And also because it was kind of an oddity. It was a Nintendo handheld that had a 3D glasses-free display. Which was a pretty cool feature that they apparently decided not to carry forward. So I, I kind of want to get the, the only console with that type of technology before it completely gets forgotten and swept away into the dustbin of history. But the fact of the matter is, VR is the only way to do good 3D. There is no workaround that's as good as just giving each of your eyes its own dedicated d display because that's how you see reality in 3D is each of your so eyes sees a different image. And it, it doesn't have to share that image with another image fucking interlaced on a display, like a flat display. It, it sees two separate, totally separated views which then are combined in the brain. That's what you need for good 3D. Nothing short of that is really quite good enough. Who's that, who's that singing in the background? Is that a choir? Do any of you know where the, the next solvable ghost mystery is? Quit, quit singing. Quit singing your haunting jams and fucking help me solve this ghost mystery. Choirs, man, what are you gonna do? Okay, what's this? Didn't I already... These are just question bees. Hmm. Question bees. No, nope. question bees again. Nothing I can do. Can I do this? Almost. It's really huge. What does that mean? What does it mean when there's portals of different sizes? Does that mean that I've collected like almost all the, the clues, but not quite all of them? Does that mean I need to collect more clues in order to get the portal bigger? I'm just throwing stuff out there. You, you can catch whatever I throw out. Maybe... Smear it on your man breasts a little bit. Slow motion. Yeah, yeah, like that. I didn't say stop! Good. Daddy likes. Okay, I made it weird. I always make it weird. Never any good reason not to. I remember there being something in one of these graves. Let's see if that's an actual memory, or if I'm... Heckin' bamboozling myself, which I do with uh, alarming frequency. I mean, I know I'm getting old, but, you know. It shouldn't be happening until, like, my 60s, though. I'm not even 40. I'm a ways away from 40, and I'm already starting to have memory problems. That's not encouraging. Now this is, even with existing specs, this is so much better than playing on, mo on a monitor. If, if they fucking knew, there would be no more monitor games. Even with a controller. FPS especially. Or a lamp. Do I need to pick this up? I can't pick that up. I need something to fix that up so I can put oil in it. I can't do anything with the birds. Can't open that. Can't open that. Oh, I remember. I went in here before. 
I thought it was an outhouse. I guess it is now. I mean, once you shit in something like this, it becomes an outhouse. Hope I didn't unsettle the spirits of the dead with my heinous dookie. That would do it. Here we go. No, I already got this clue. Okay, th there's steps. There's steps that I have been ignoring. When you come upon the site of a murder, the first step is that you identify all the clues. Because that's where the ghost will appear later. Doing the various steps of the crime. Then, I think, it lets you expand the portal all the way. There's that monument to Superman from the movie where he was dead for a little a while. Superman doesn't say dead. I like this. I like walking around crouched. Like a little old man who really has to shit. Or who, who perhaps already has pantaloons full of dookie. Only he is privy to that knowledge. I keep wanting to jump and use my glider thing from Breath of the Wild when I go to the edges here. I have to remember that I'm not in that game. What am I missing? Is it in the church? It can't be in the church, can it? I've been through there a billion times. At least four. Four is so close to a billion, they may as well be the same thing. According to my calculations, anyways, which I did in crayon on a on a napkin. How many clues have I uncovered? One, two. Three. I'll have to inspect this. There we go. That's what I was missing. Now I bet I, I'll bet you I can do it now. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh! Uh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Aha! Uh -huh. Take that, question bees. You vex me no longer. Now I can touch this dead body all I want, and possibly film it for later enjoyment. Yep, yep. Ghost powers activate! All seven of them. How many are there? There's one, two, three, four, five. Is that normal? Are there usually five? Do all murders take place in exactly five steps? Okay, this is the next step, where you have to find the ghosts. Which is pretty easy, given that they have a fucking particle fountain indicating their locations. It's a ghost party. You might even say a monster mash. It was a graveyard bash! It was a monster mash! I got fucked in the ass! At the Monster Mash! The Monster Mash! Where he got fucked in the ass, the Monster Mash! Right in Dracula's ass, the Monster Mash! Okay, let's see. I can't be right. <sighs> One. Two. Let's try it. It'll let me fuck around as much as I want to. Three. Four. I want to say that... Five. 
They'll tell me right away if I'm wrong. Our boy. Chad is putting our boy in that crypt. And bricking him up. Giving him to the sleeper. Forever. How does this happen? Okay, one is correct. This is not correct, though. I'm going to say this one is right. See how close to right that oh is. Boy. Chad. You know he's harmless. You know this is wrong. Chad, finish those bricks before he leaves. Yeah, see, she's totally. She's got. She's thick. I don't know if you noticed. Chad. Look how thick. Oh, look at look at her fucking. Get the hell away from me. Those are some titties. He should have been helping. Dale's weak. He always has been. He's weak, and his bloodline will not survive the winter. Okay, the, that is that one's not right. Let's try this. That one will have automatically been changed to four, right? How could they go from there to over there? Yep. So he could control crows with his psychic penis. I suspected it from the start. I didn't want to call it early, though. It's not right. Ethan's our boy. Dad. I need to get into the mine. What? The mine? My, my key. Uh, I, I don't have it. I guess I'll use the tunnel near the gate. Just just keep Mom away from me, all right? She's sick. We're all sick. How do you get converted from, like, Lutheranism or Presbyterianism, whatever the, the fuck these people were, not sleep. to Ethan an, an eldritch cult? Whatever it was, it got out into the air and into the minds of his family. Huh. Was he fucking, what's an 11 year old do to piss off Cthulhu? Was he like trying to trade Cthulhu a, an Oddish for a chi shiny Charizard? Cause that would do it. I mean, not to knock on Oddish or anything. That's the second ghost mystery solved, though. You like that shit? I do. I sure fucking like it. I was beginning to think I would never figure out how to fucking unlock my latent X-Men ability. In fact, speaking of X-Men, I'm kind of Professor X right now because I'm moving around while in a chair. It's like a hover chair. I'm like this is canon. This is going to be the next X-Men movie. Xavier just fucking wandering the woods in his hover chair solving ghost crimes. And you know those the ghost crimes are all the times. 24-7 8 days a week they're relentless. Ghosts are a serious problem in our modern era. Light coming through that tree. Look at that. I first saw that effect in, in Halo 1 and was so blown away by it. I was like, the fact that they bothered to include that. Like, it, it looked too good for the game it was in.
I must find my X-Men. Wait, that's Sean Connery. He was, he was never Professor Xavier. He is now, I guess. Uh, and no, that's nothing. It has the same terrain as Minnesota, too. Like the big boulders and everything from glaciers moving over the land and scraping everything up and digging out all those thousand lakes. It's called the Land of a Thousand Lakes. I think there's exactly a thousand. I, I prefer... I, I choose to believe that. I will not be disconvinced. Anything you show me is fake news if it disagrees with what I've already decided I want to believe. Wait, this means I could go back into the cave and solve the ghost mystery there. This means I could go back down to the lower portion of the level and solve the ghost mystery in that in that house or whatever that building was. So yeah, what's Oculus got in store? Now that Vive Pro is coming out, Oculus is going to have to one-up them. They can't just release the same thing. They can't just release, be like, oh, we have a Rift that has 78% higher resolution too. They have to do something more than that. I'm hoping for increased resolution, increased field of vision. And, um... Inside out tracking. I really want the next. I think it's credible to believe they might do inside out tracking because Constellation has proven to have certain shortcomings compared to Lighthouse in terms of the trackable area. So, how do you solve that? You go to inside out tracking and get and guess everybody who spent $80 on a third sensor camera is just out of luck. That sounds like something, something they would do, actually. <sighs> Jesus. I still remember getting my first cardboard. And, and well, it wasn't made out of cardboard. It was the nicest cardboard available at the time, which was a, a Zeiss VR1. And it was about the same visual quality as Gear VR, but without the uh, track, the added smoother tracking because of the extra hardware. And without, of course, without the exclusive games, which is the main point to get a Gear VR in the first place. The, on, the only good mobile VR games to be had almost or all on Gear VR just to force you to buy one if you want to play them and a lot of them it, there's just no good reason why it has to be on Gear VR and why it couldn't be on cardboard they just decided to put their, their games on a platform likely to be played by people who have disposable income and people playing cardboard based VR probably don't have that much disposable income was their reasoning. I'm not saying I necessarily agree with that. Huh. Well, I'll find it. And rest assured, I'll find it. Not in this episode, though. So, uh... Click like and subscribe. And eagerly await another episode of... Sensual, Romantic Walks in the Forest with Zamboro. Your favorite.